focus on the main event for today is to look at what you've been telling us is important to you when it comes to spending your rent money and future rent levels moving forward. It's important because it helps us to understand what you think about our services and it's an opportunity for you to tell us ways in which you feel that we can improve. It gathers your views on value for money and your priorities. It's your rent money. And it informs our rent setting decisions for 2020-21. And this additional information allows us to deliver better services. We wanted to strengthen our tenants' voices this year and we increased the methods by which we put out the survey you've all been voting on. We did online through the consultation hub, we set targets for our locality teams, we did regular communication through social media, and we text alerts as well. And I'm absolutely thrilled and delighted to be able to say that this approach increased the numbers from 182 in 1819 to 849 tenants submitting their votes this year. That's a 366% increase, but more importantly, that moves us from only 2.5% of our tenants expressing their thoughts to 11.25%, and that's a significant shift, and that's an area that we want to continue to improve. I talked about what else did the survey um, capture. Again, we're going to be doing our community champions. We did them last year. Uh, and I'm thrilled to be able to tell you that we've received 52 nominations for community champions throughout Perth and Kinross. That individual that just goes that little bit more to help their community or help a neighbour, and they range from small children all the way up to, we're still trying to find them, Bob the bus driver, in um, one of the south localities, but we're going to make a, a, a concerted effort to find Bob. What we intend to do is, with the 52 nominations, will be split into localities and we are going to award a prize to the top three in each locality. But what we also want to do is, we want to recognise every single person that's been nominated. So we will hold locality events within our North, South, Latham and city localities so that we can recognise each and every single individual because it's those people that make a difference to your communities. So some of you seasoned pros out there will recognise this diagram. This is our strategic tenant engagement around rent setting and it's the process that we follow um, and it starts as you can see in April. So you know in April not only when you're just getting used to your new rent level, that's when we're starting to look at right, okay, well what do we need to do to get feedback around what our rent levels could be for the year uh, 2021. 20 we're on the second uh, bubble on the right there, so this is us coming to speak to you at the conference to feedback on the 10th uh, survey results. And during July and August, the locality teams, supported by our tenant and resident participation colleagues, will be attending a range of events to try and seek further information. If you are at all interested in what events the TRP team are scheduled to be at, or if you would like to suggest some locality events within your area where they would get a wide range of tenants participating, please feel free to catch up with them. We're always keen to look for that. What, what we'll do then is from September we'll take all that feedback, feedback on what is important to you and as a management team we will look at what would that potentially mean in terms of rent levels for 2020-21. And then if you recollect we'll come back to the conference, the autumn conference as we're now calling it in October and we'll present a range of options for potential rent levels for the year ahead. Again, all tenants will be encouraged to vote um, on that and provide feedback in terms of that. So, what did you tell us for your priorities this year? What we've done is prioritise in the bar chart there in terms of the order. So your highest priority was um, providing a high quality repair service. And that's understandable because repairs is probably a service that every single tenant will access at one point or an improvement programme. So, and with undertaken, I hope I get this right, during around, around 28,000 um, repairs a year, it's an area where we want to deliver a high quality service and continue to improve. Second was keeping your home well maintained and warm. That was then followed by improving services for older tenants. This was a new area that we looked at and a new priority and you can see there it's come out quite highly in terms of the priorities. More investment in your home was next, 
and then increasing the number of council homes for rent. That's a priority that always comes out strongly. It's a strong voice we hear from you, and we welcome that in terms of increasing the numbers of affordable housing in Perth and Kinross. So we drop um, right down to the bottom priority was improving services for younger tenants as well.